Which most of us titan is the oldest? There is a lot of conflicting ideas on this issue. The premise that super species have existed since the dawn of time, or more precisely since the Permian Triassic mass extinction event. But there are certain titans that are more recent than the others, for example, Kong or Behemoth. So let's take a look at this topic from an evolutionary science point of view, and also from our estimates. And mind you, from the estimate sides, they are our theories and not canon to the monsterverse. So yeah, let's get to it. Let's start with the youngest individual. Even though her species has been in existence for millions of years, she isn't. And although she has a genetic shared memory, Mothra was just a few weeks old when she hatched out from her egg and transformed into a full-grown moth from her larval form in a few days time. But sadly, she died during the battle against Ghidorah. She was only a few weeks old at that time. Next, we have the Muros. These two specimens that fought Godzilla in 2014 hatched from their cocoons inside the body of Dagon in 1999 and were only 15 years old by the time they faced off with the G-Man in San Francisco. Sadly, they were killed, but the female could have grown or transformed into a Queen Muto or even the Prime, a Muto Prime, given enough time. Then we have Kong. Kong was a young ape by the time Gunpei and Marlow crash landed on Skull Island in 1945. This means that he was born around the 19th century, but the exact date isn't known. He was just an adolescent during the events of Kong Skull Island, and so he must be around 100 plus to 150 years old by the time of Godzilla vs Kong, fully grown with a majestic beard. Then next we have the False King, King Ghidorah. It isn't known as to how old this individual is, but it was recorded by the ancients that he came from the stars and with that assessment of humans noting down his origins, it means that he landed on earth. When we as a species have evolved, that means less than 100,000 years old, at the most. But he might also be way older from where he came from. The war bat titans that were seen in the Hollow Earth during Godzilla vs Kong were two gigantic serpent-like titans that had very similar traits to a cobra, maybe just outward appearance of the head and neck. Nevertheless, it was a snake titan and when did cobras actually evolve? Well, sometime around 7 to 10 million years ago. And yeah, war bats kinda maybe have evolved from cobras around 7 to 10 million years ago. Then we have the hulking mammoth sloth titan that is behemoth. So as he is a combo of these genus of mammals who evolved on Earth during the Cenozoic era around 30 to 50 million years ago, we can also estimate that this titan evolved from either one of them around that same time. So, behemoth, 30 to 50 million years old. Next we come to Camazots. This bat titan was the main enemy of Kong during the events of Kingdom Kong, just before Skull Island was engulfed by a perpetual storm. Camazots, as we said, was a bat titan and bats evolved around 40 to 50 million years ago. That means he is an offshoot from a species or from a range of species that arose during that time. So Camazots, 40 to 50 million years old. The next on this list is the hyper carnivorous super species called the skull crawlers. These gigantic creatures were not like the other titans that fed on radiation. So it had to evolve later on after the main ones went into hibernation. Our guess would be that these creatures arrived on the scene some 60 to 70 million years ago and maybe caused the extinction of the dinosaurs with their hyper carnivorous state. So next we have the fire demon Rodan. Rodan is a reptilian titan who shares many similarities with the pterodactyls and pteranodons of the Mesozoic era. Since the earliest recorded specimen of a pteranodon is around 90 to 100 million years ago, we can also guess that this flying titan evolved from one of them around that same time, around 90 to 100 million years old. Next we have the Muto Prime. Uh, this was a highly evolved form of the normal female Muto and even though the Queen Muto was maybe the old mature specimen of the female of their species, this one, Prime, would have been pretty old and able to take down a Godzilla specimen when fully energized and with relative ease. So this individual, Prime, would have been very old, could have been close to or around the same age as the G-Man himself, around 252 million years old. Then next, there are four titans that share maybe a similar age, and these are the Shinomura, 
the Ocean Queen Tyrant called Tiamat, the Armored Squid Tyrant Scylla, and Godzilla himself. These Tyrants were definitely one of the oldest, evolving before the Permian Triassic extinction event some 252 million years ago. Shinomura and Godzilla are known to have fought each other during that time, so these two are pretty much of the same age. The other two, well, let us just say that they are educated guesses, in quotes. On the second spot, we have three Titans which have been placed as the second oldest ones. Mind you again, this is our estimate, not canon to the movie universe. But you can bring up your own conclusions in the comments down there. Well, Methuselah comes here on this spot since he was named after the oldest living human ever, which is Methuselah. And yeah, maybe because he is really old, the Titan. Then we have Titanus Amhuluk, who is essentially just a nervous system, uh, a vertebrate, one of the earliest vertebrates that telekinetically formed a body from woods and trees. And lastly, we have Nakika, Titanus Nakika, who is a cephalopod and it would have evolved from the earliest octopus ancestors around 300 plus million years ago. And yeah, we have placed Amhuluk as well as Methuselah in the same time frame, 300 plus million years old. And the oldest titan is maybe the Genitor Alpha. This species absolutely is huge if compared to the fish species it evolved from. It came from Adonkleosteus, which appeared on Earth around 350 to 380 million years ago. It unfortunately died in an encounter with Godzilla, which means that in those millions of years of its existence, it has not encountered Godzilla before, therefore giving it the balls to challenge him and die. Anyway, with that, we come to the end of it. Tell us what you think, if you agree or not. So do hit that like button, support us, subscribe us, and smash that bell icon for regular updates on new videos on this channel. Till the next one, take care fam.